let's have a look at the header section in 7.1. You have some great configuration options here, uh, but sometimes people get a little bit confused when they choose a transparent header. So uh, on any page, uh, go into edit mode and then click on edit site header. And here we have a couple of options. Um, so by default, when you start a new website, uh, the fixed position is not selected. What this means is as you scroll up, you know, the header disappears and you have to scroll all the way back to see it again. Um, so I quite like the fixed position actually. And when you turn that on, you have a couple of choices. You have your basic fixed position. Now let's do that and let's just save this page to have a look at that. And what happens here is as you start scrolling, um, the basic fixed position will basically fix the header at the top and uh, you will always see it whether you scroll up or down. Uh, the other option that you have, which I actually really like as well, is the scroll back option. And what that means is that as you scroll down, the header disappears. But then when you start scrolling up, the header actually appears before you reach the top. So this is really nice because usually people start scrolling up because they want to get back to the header navigation. And this way they don't have to scroll up all the way in you know, order to get to it. Um, so that is the scroll back option. Now, as you can see, you know, when we um, use the fixed header, uh, it has a color and now let's uh, actually for the purposes of this demonstration I'm going to the basic fixed position um, now in your header settings uh, you have a colors section here and as you can see it's set to transparent what that means is that the header is literally transparent and it shows whatever the background is of the next section below the header um, so how did we get to this, you know, to the color that we just saw? Well, the color is actually determined by the color theme of the first section after your header. So if your header is transparent, uh, go into the uh, section editor for the next section colors here. And in our case, you know, we have the dark theme selected. Um, and you can actually change that per page. So if we just save this for a moment and go to a different page and then go into edit now here, uh, now the transparency is going to be on every page because whatever you have for your header settings, that's always a global setting for your website. Uh, but here, if we go to the color theme of the section, uh, that's also dark, but let's change that to this one, maybe to the bright theme. And um, if we save that now, you can see that the button has changed. And also, as I scroll down, you can see that the background color of the header changes as well. Now, let's say, you know, I, okay, I changed this color theme, but now I find that the uh, white text is, is just a little bit uh, too um, light for me now with this theme. So how can I change that? You have to actually go into the color theme of the section, you know, that follows the header section, uh, go to the colors and, you know, we have the bright selected, click on the edit button here that will open up the color editor. And then here, you know, you have to find the element that you're looking to change. So in our case, you know, let's say the navigation links, let's say I want to make that dark, you know, because I want it to be more visible here. Let's say I want to make the site title dark as well. Um, so that it's more visible. So, okay, that's fine. You know, so now we save all of that. However, um, <laughs> the issue with that is now, while this is better now here, but as we start scrolling, see, because of how this, um, the background color is set, uh, this is not dark on a relatively dark background color. So that's actually not so great, you know, so I would actually prefer for this to be white. So your option would be uh, to, um, to change the background color of that theme, you know, but you probably don't want to do that because, you know, these are all your, you know, this is your color palette, right? So you wouldn't necessarily want to change uh, the background color. Now you could go into here and then here, you know, here you see you have the section background. And um, 
so I'm just showing you this, you know, because you have to just put a little bit of thought into, uh, you know, the images that you use and how they work with your header if your header is transparent. And that's really, you know, the only reason why I demonstrate this. So, you know, so in this case, you know, what I do is, hang on, let me just close this again. Um, I just would choose the color theme that I had before. Um, you know, that works quite well. So we're just going to save that and that's fine. But this is actually, you know, while I really like using the transparent option, but that's for instance, why I also like to just have a regular header with a background color. And then, you know, you can just uh, scroll and I have it just permanently fixed uh, because I just want to make it really easy for people to go and find uh, my other pages as well. So I hope this uh, was helpful and has showed you the different options that you have with the header in 7.1.